Hi there, in this video we are going to design a water tank system in factory I.O. to learn how to use analog equipment such as lab, level meter and so on. The project will be continued in the next video and I'll use the scale and unscale functions to display the current and desired level on two digital displays. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content I will be posting through the channel. Okay, at the first step, let's launch factory I.O. to design a water tank system with its controller box. Well, let me add the water tank station. Note that the tank supports two modes, digital and analog. In this video, we are going to learn how analog signals can be shared between the factory I.O. software and the PLC scene simulator. As you can see, there are two analog instruments at the top of the inserted tank. The field valve can be controlled with a voltage between 0 and 10 volts and the level meter generates a voltage between 0 and 10 volts when the level of liquid changes between 0 and 300 centimeters. At the bottom, the discharge valve can be controlled with a voltage between 0 and 10 volts, and also the ferrometer generates a voltage between 0 and 10 volts based on the flow of water. Now let's design a control box for the inserted tank. Okay, now let's select appropriate names for the inserted push buttons, potentiometers, and digital displays. Well, by default, the inserted potentiometers generate a voltage between 0 and 10 volts. I'll select the second mode, minus 10 to 10 volts, for the second potentiometer.
As you see, by default, the digital display can be used to show a real number between 0 and 10 volts. Let's select the integer mode for the two inserted digital displays. I'll use them to display the curtain and the desired level of the liquid inside the tank. I'll hide, I've designed my control box. Now let's open the file menu and select the driver's item to modify the connection settings. I'll use the S7 PLC Sim Simulator as my controller. Now let's click on the configuration item to change the number of inputs and outputs and also check out other settings. Now let's connect the inserted equipment to these inputs and outputs with these addresses. Alright, I finished the connection settings between factory I.O. and the PLC SIM simulator. Now let's launch the Semantic Manager software. Well, let's create a new project. Now let's launch the PLC SIM simulator. Well, let me select the MPI port for the virtual PLC and connect it to the equipment in factory I.O. As you can see, factory I.O. has connected to the virtual PLC successfully. Note that I'm going to use the PLC SIM simulator to test my program codes. So it's not necessary to configure my Semantic 300 station and I can select the S7 program item. The next step is programming. Before that, let me open the symbols table and define suitable tags for my PLC inputs and outputs.
All right, these are my PLC inputs and outputs, and I can use them with these tanks during the programming step. Now let's open the main organization block OB1 to start this step. Well, I want to open the field valve with the first star push button. Note that the field valve is an analog valve and I cannot use a call to turn it on. I should use the move instruction to send a number to open the field valve. As I explained in the previous video, I should send this number 27,648 to generate 10 volts at the output. Similarly, let's use the first star push button to send zero to close the field valve. Now let me save and test the program. Well, this message says a call or assign is required. So let's use a call with a bit of memory to solve this problem. Notice the set of this address is not important to me. Now let's download and test the program. Well, based on my program, I can use these two push buttons to open and close the field valve. As you can see, when I press the start push button, this number 27,648 is moved to the output address QWT. And according to the previous video, the analog module generates 10 volts, which can open the field valve completely. Now I want to open the field valve 50%. So let me send this number to QW30 address and then test the program again. Okay, in this video, I designed a water tank system and written a simple program to open and close the field back. In the next video, I'll show you how to use these potentiometers and digital displays using the scale and on scale functions. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, 
that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.